Hey guys, and welcome to another Facebook Live session for the Public Health Week. We're coming to you live from the NYU College of Global Public Health, and I'm joined by two amazing students representing the Student Governing Council, as well as Student Affairs. So I'm joined by Mackenzie, as well as Beba. Can you introduce yourselves? Go ahead, Mackenzie. Sure, so my name is Mackenzie Pickett. I'm a second year here at the College of Global Public Health, studying global health. Um, I'm also the president of the Student Governing Council, um, and we're gonna talk a little bit more about what that looks like in a little bit. Yeah, awesome. How about you, Vaibhav? Well, uh, my name is Vaibhav, and I'm a first year student at, in the global health track. And I'm also on the Student Governing Council. I'm a graduate representative. And I'm also a graduate assistant on the student affairs team, so pretty much bridging the two uh, governing councils, awesome. essentially. So both of you guys are here for Public Health Week. So mm -hmm. what is Public Health Week? What a great question. <laughs> um, so Public Health Week is a nationally observed week where we kind of appreciate and celebrate the intersection of what public health means. Mm. Um, this year is the first year that we're bringing it to NYU, which is great to try and build what that looks like and build mm. our identity as a college. Um, so we'll go through the schedule in a minute, but uh, yeah, so public health is the intersection of business and healthcare and entrepreneurship and anything, communications, anything that you're really passionate about, you can really bring it back and figure out how to help the greater good, mm. quotes, yeah. um, with what public health means to you. And so that's, I think, bringing it to campus, we wanted to make it a, a little bit more intersectional. Um, next year, maybe even expand it. We try to get more colleges involved, and they're excited. Um, it's just trying to get everybody on the same page at the same time, because mm. there's so many events going on. <laughs> right? Yeah. And it's what, just April? We're about to, yeah. 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 So things are winding down now. Things, yeah. some of us are on our way out, some of us, you know, yeah. so it's... It's interesting and complicated and great all at the same time. Yeah, awesome, mm -hmm. awesome. <clears throat> so if you want me, like we can just work our way down the schedule. Right. Um, so the first event that we have on our Monday is going to be the public health debate, which we are still looking for people to engage in. So if you feel like you can spar with the best of them or you just want to try it, um, we've got a email coming out later on today um, and you can sign up for all these events um, some of these were asking for specific asks so um, in a perfect world we'd have a panel of four on each side um, we'll release the information on what you're going to debate on on friday so that everybody's at an equal playing field um, we'll pick a little bit more of a controversial public health topic because oh, we they're not going to know what it is in until end. friday so you get <laughs> yeah. a weekend to prep but we okay. thought that uh, it would be a, uh, someone would be more at a disadvantage if they decided last minute to come in mm. and a team had a week to prep. Okay. Um, so we wanted to try and make everybody as equitable as possible, mm. uh, equal footing. Um, and then we're going to do trivia both Tuesday and Wednesday. This is NYU wide. We'll be set up in Kimmel Lobby. We'll have prizes. So just stop by on your coffee break or on your way to class. Um, see if you can put your public health knowledge to the test. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. uh, yeah, so, and then throughout the week we'll have a couple of things going on. Um, for instance, restaurant week is going to be happening. Mm. So we've partnered with a lot of restaurants. If you want to look at some new restaurants, but sometimes your pocketbook is like, mm, let's think about right. that. <laughs> We're all grad students. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we all know the struggle. Yeah. Um, They'll, we've partnered with a couple of local restaurants. We'll have a map coming out to you soon mm. on what that looks like so you can go in and really mm. Um, fill your soul and your stomach at the same time. Um, <laughs> with awesome food. With yeah. awesome food. And, and it's all local to us, right? Mm -hmm. So things that you probably yeah. wouldn't try on a day to day, but are still in our backyard. Yeah. Um, and uh, the Justice Initiative is going to have an interactive wall the entire time. Mm. So for those of you who don't know, we have a, a Justice Initiative Club that is uh, under the Health and Human Rights Club. And they're going to be having posters up at our student space at 726 throughout the entire week. And they're gonna say, they're gonna give you a statement um, such as it costs this amount of money for one person to be incarcerated for a year. Oh. What would you suggest to use that money for to maybe like um, help in getting that person more acclimated to coming back into society? Or mm. what could you actually do to push our, our criminal justice forward? Mm. Um, because that's a huge issue, especially in public health, and yeah. 
with our incarceration rates is yeah. pretty nuts. And that's amazing. So th there's just going to be a wall and people just write? And yeah, I think there'll be like those giant sticky boards okay. and you can go in and write what you feel. Uh, right. Um, yeah. That's, that's really amazing. I yeah, think. and apart from the, uh, the interactive wall, on Tuesday from 2 to 3 p.m., we're going to bring someone from um, the New York City Department of Health, Jackie mm -hmm. blackman Foshe. So she's going to give uh, naloxone training. So essentially, wow. every seven hours, someone dies of a drug overdose in New York City. And mm -hmm. we all know that the opioid epidemic has literally gripped the nation and not just uh, like nationally, but internationally. And it's, it's, a, it's a big problem. So. The, it, there's now become an importance of being equipped to deal with someone who is overdosing. So, uh, especially as public health professionals, right? Yes, yeah. we need yeah. to be on our feet mm -hmm. at all times. So, we're gonna. Uh, she's coming to give us a training okay. on, and we would be certified opioid overdose response responders, and we would be having an naloxone kit with us at all times. Wow. Are, and at this session, are we going to practice administering it? Yes, we that? would be. Okay. Uh, we would go through the entire process on how to recognize the symptoms and how to help someone, like initial first aid, and how to administer the, uh, the naloxone immediately so that you can reverse the symptoms. Wow. Mm -hmm. I think that's amazing, guys, yes, to yeah. come to that, to be able to walk away not only with an MPH degree, right. but also certified in Narcan administration. Yeah, and, and it's and happening it, from uh, 2 to 3 p.m. at 726 Broadway 7th floor, mm. our, our student space. So mm. make sure you come for that. And also the same day on Tuesday, the Bioethics Club is having a, a film screening. Mm. So they are going to screen this movie called Gattaca. So it is a 1997 science <laughs> fiction movie, but it deals with a lot of issues such as genetic uh, remodeling and ethical issues, essentially. So <laughs> uh, I think it's appropriate that they uh, decide to screen that. And also, they would be donating money to the uh, Gillian Barry Syndrome Foundation. Mm. So and you'll be selling snacks you can yeah. eat while you watch, and then all yeah. the proceeds go to the, yeah. So yeah. apart from the Gillian Barry uh, Syndrome mm. uh, Foundation, it'll also go to the Chronic Inflammatory Demyelinating Neuropathy Foundation. And to people who are not doctors, <laughs> it is uh, basically it affects the nerves and almost leaves you delibitated. So mm. it, is, it is, I think it's a great initiative what the Biotechs uh, Club is doing yeah. with mm. this. And also there be vegan options for food, so yeah. <laughs> for all the vegan Everyone, food lovers out yeah, there, yeah. everyone is welcome. We are yeah. very inclusive, no discrimination. so no discrimination at all. <laughs> yeah. um, so along with that, we also wanted to focus back on students, right? Mm -hmm. So as public health professionals, we're always going out, uh, being in the front lines as well as in the back lines and right. trying to do policy and all this kind of stuff. But what do you do to take care of yourself mm -hmm. is a question that we pose. Um, and so we wanted to do a little bit more of like a, a couple of de-stressors. So one of them, we're going to do salsa in the park. Right. Oh. So we have a certified mm -hmm. salsa instructor coming out um, yeah. to Washington Square Park where we're going to meet up and salsa. Look at that. <laughs> so that'll be fun. That's yeah. from um, 3.30 to 5.30. Um, on Wednesday. Mm. I need my cheat sheets because there's a lot going on. <laughs> yeah. um, and then another one that we're going to be doing is um, uh, paint and sip? Sip and paint. Sip and paint. Sorry. Sip and paint. So um, one of the de-stressors that a lot of people do is art. So think of it kind of like art therapy. So we've got another instructor coming in. Again, seventh floor, 726, our student space. Um, and they're going to be doing some instructive on how to paint on canvas while mm. you're able to sip some tea and just relax with some friends. Mm. Um, so that will be directly following our Youth Mappers event. So all of this is on Thursday. Mm. So Youth Mappers is from 5 to 7, and Sip and Paint is from 7 to 8.30. Mm. Youth Mappers are another one of our great clubs. Mm. And what they're working on is um, training people how to use their... Um, mapping systems, and uh, then they want to have mapathons. So this is part of their trainings and what they do. Um, they're doing a lot of great work. A lot of it goes over my head. I'm not a mapper, turns out. <laughs> uh, it's like GIS or something. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not exactly sure the exact uh -huh. mapping thing that they're doing, but GIS is one of their footholds. Yeah. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of good stuff going on. Um, 
we're going to end on Friday with the cook-off challenge, which oh. Debbie is a part of. Hey. Uh, do you want to... Hey, Puerto Rico, shout out. <laughs> do you want to explain what that looks like? So the, the, it's the Zero Hunger Cooking Challenge. Yep. And right. this is often hosted by the nutrition department. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And basically, we're going to have about five different countries represent, and they're going to produce five dishes. And it also, all these five dishes have to take in mind and into account, like the nutrition uh, the nutritional value of the food, the cost effectiveness, cost effectiveness of it, like the um, you know accessibility of whatever population you're advocating for, and basically each country makes a case mm -hmm. analysis or a case, not necessarily a case analysis, but makes a case for that particular country, identifying the population this you know meal mm -hmm. is targeted to. Cool. So maybe for example. Puerto Rico, which I think yeah, right. is interesting. Um, our case study is looking at, you know, survivors from the Hurricane Maria mm -hmm. um, storm that happened, and basically we we are designing a menu that, you know, is in response to that particular population. A lot of people in Puerto Rico were left without electricity, yeah. food, and things like that. So we're taking all that, you know, into account. That's awesome. So I think it's going to be an amazing yeah. uh, experience. I think that's happening on Friday yep. from yes, 5 is. till 7.30. Um, yeah. yeah. And y'all should come out and check it out. We're going to have judges there. You're going to be smelling awesome food. And yeah. I think it's going to be great fun. And we've worked with um, our Nutrition Beyond Borders Club, who's right. also helping the nutrition department to really get this out there to help build the teams. Um, and so we're going to end Public Health Week with a cruise. So we're going to have great food to bring it home on what it looks like beyond borders of um, food disparities mm -hmm. and what you can do with that and mm -hmm. what that looks like, you know, to us living in New York where prices for food can be anywhere from free at GPH sometimes <laughs> to, you know, hundreds of dollars. And Whole Foods. Um, <laughs> <Yes. laughs> yeah. Um, and then we're going to go on a cruise and celebrate, excuse me, uh, excel and celebrate public health together. And it's going to be one of our ending things for the years where we're all going to be together before we go off and mm. hopefully start some careers or start our second year right. or um, whatever that looks like. So we have 300 spots in the first day we sold half of them. So if you're thinking about it, we'd appreciate for you to get in there and buy your ticket quick. Um, Definitely. This week we're focusing on our college, so undergrads and grads alike. Um, and next week we'll open it up to NYU. So if we don't sell out, then we're gonna open it up to our mm. other communities. Right, mm. and um, just, we have a couple of other events also happening throughout the week. Mm -hmm. So we, it's obviously in, with regard to Public Health Week, everyone is concerned about what career they could go into, because that is a worry everyone <laughs> has on their mind when they enter grad school. So we are having a Wasserman panel, so the, Student Affairs team has worked with uh, the Wasserman Center for Career mm -hmm. Development, and we are having a career panel from 5 to 6 p.m. on Wednesday. So we have three confirmed speakers who have worked in the public uh, health field. So we have one person who's coming from the NYU uh, College of Dentistry. So and we have um, another speaker who's coming from the uh, Center for Real World Evidence. And we also have the deputy director from the New York City Emergency Management mm. to come and talk about the different careers you could possibly go into mm. and just an uh, array of careers essentially, so how to go about the entire process. Mm. So that'll be interesting. And um, on Thursday, we have a bone marrow info session. So mm -hmm. what's, again, it's interesting to know, the thing about I like the, that, uh, what I like about Public Health Week is it's, it's not just about uh, the celebration of public health and uh, you know respecting pioneers, but we look to find solutions. And another major problem we have right now is bone marrow donations. Mm. And and over seventy percent of uh, people with cancer, with bone marrow cancer, are not able to find donors. So within their own family. So wow. so the national bone marrow uh, the ma uh, the national marrow donor program. Excuse me. So they have. Uh, now extended the base to everyone, so anyone can come and sign up to be a donor. And especially uh, in African American, Hispanic communities, it's it's difficult mm -hmm. uh, for them to find a donor. So uh, this is an info session, so you can come and register to be a donor, and you can donate your bone marrow in in the event that they do require one and help save mm -hmm. a life. So it's happening from one to two p.m. 
at 726 Broadway, seventh floor. So mm. please make sure that you're there. I think for we, have the two, a, yeah. we have a question from the audience. One right. of them is from Amber Simone, and she would like, like, you know, there's so much going on, you know, right. with the public health. Are non NYU mm -hmm. students able to participate? in any of these week's events? Absolutely. Yes. Um, right. Like we were saying before, public health is the intersection of all these great fun things. Right. And I think that we have a lot of resources at NYU and a lot of great colleges doing a lot of great things, right. mm. ours included. <laughs> um, and so we would love to open up to that space to bring your friends Everyone. who yeah. are and aren't. And this isn't just a grad event either. Um, this, all of this is open to our undergrad population as well. Even the crews? The cruises, um, yep. So we are for a student governing council. We're a joint council. So that mm -hmm. means that I'm the president, I'm the graduate co-president, and then Ashwini, who isn't here today, um, but she is the undergraduate co-president. Right. So we do everything and move forward together as a, as a united college front. And so all of this is open to NYU students and undergrads and graduates. Mm. So. Nice. Yeah. And how about for people that might be participating in the cruise as well as, you know, want to, sorry, participating in the cooking challenge and might also want to go on the cruise because it's around the same time. Mm -hmm. or has there been any accommodations for that? Yeah. yeah. So do you want to talk about that? Though? Yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> thank you. <Yeah. laughs> Very kind of you. Yeah, so we took that into account. And uh, the cruise, the boating starts at 8.30 p.m. Mm -hmm. from Chelsea Pier 61. Mm -hmm. And which is, uh, I think, around 1.5 miles from here. I Google mapped it. <laughs> You've got to be, <laughs> you gotta be prepared Uber. for it. Yes. <laughs> you can Uber it. It will take you 15 to 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. But considering it's a Friday evening, I understand that the cook-off ends at 7.30 p.m. Mm. But boating starts at 8.30 p.m. And the cruise, the ship, leaves at 9 p.m. So you mm. do have an extra 30 minutes for you to come. So it's not necessarily that you have to be there at 8.30 on the dot, but mm. try to be there by 8.59 p.m. because at 9 p.m. sharp, we leave from the dock. We would suggest 8.45. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, but what if like you, people have their stuff with them? Is it okay to bring that on the boat? Or? Yeah, so yeah. The, the cruise people, mm -hmm. um, as they're known, <laughs> yes. uh, they have uh, security. So they'll be checking bags and checking IDs um, so because we're a joint venture, people who are 21 will have a wristband so that right. the bar can identify and we don't get into any issues with that. Mm -hmm. um, and then they'll check your bags. You can bring stuff. Um, they've told us that that's fine, but nobody's responsible for your mm -hmm. things except for you. So just make sure you're smart about it. Um, we understand it's New York. The likelihood of you going home and dropping off your stuff and changing and coming back <laughs> and making the boat before is yeah. 901 is pretty, pretty low. So um, feel free to bring that. There are other um, things that you can look to at NYU, such as lockers in the library mm -hmm. um, and that sort of matter. But yeah, bring them if you need to. Um, just know that you're responsible for that. Right, mm. and also just to piggyback one of the in, uh, information you mentioned, like food-wise, if you have bought your ticket and if you have any particular diet allergies or uh, any specifications such as you're a vegan mm -hmm. please write to us at cgph.sgc at gmail.com and we can accommodate for you so mm -hmm. we want to be inclusive obviously so it's not right. just a set of uh, menu which we have on the sh on the boat because mm -hmm. it it would kind of suck if you if you can come on the boat but you won't be able to eat so right. let us know your dietary uh, restrictions mm -hmm. and we can accommodate you Definitely. And it's buffet style. So there'll be yeah. plenty of food, but we just want to make sure that there's Everyone plenty of food for, for you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And this particular cruise or like just going off of what Amber said, or yeah. can we invite our friends or what does that look yes. like? Or yeah. are faculty going to be there? Like what is, who's going to be the crowd? Basically? Yeah. So it'll mostly be our peers. You can mm -hmm. definitely invite a plus one. Um, originally we had it so you could do the plus one. I mean, you have to pay for your plus one, right? So your ticket doesn't automatically get you a free person. Mm -hmm. right. um, for clarification, we have had that question. Mm. Um, but you as a student, because it's through our NYU box office and you'll need your login for that, um, can buy multiple tickets. You can buy a maximum of two, two tickets right. yeah. mm -hmm. per person. So. Mm. Um, and so the earlier you buy your tickets, the cheaper it is. Mm -hmm. um, so it increases as more people so it's like an early bird-ish. Mm -hmm. um, so that'll kind of be the crew. Yeah. Mostly just 
our peers, so graduates and undergrads, mm -hmm. right. mostly from our college. Again, if we um, don't meet our magic number, then we're going to definitely expand it out to the greater NYU community. The more yeah. the merrier. I exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But, but yeah. if you've got a friend visiting from town, go ahead, buy them a ticket, bring them right. with. Right, but early bird tickets are selling out and yeah. fast because $50 tickets are sold out. Yeah. We $55 tickets, which is another early bird mm -hmm. ticket price we have, is also selling out quickly. So if you really want to come for the cruise, mm -hmm. buy your tickets today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No joke. <laughs> it's an amazing opportunity to meet outside the classroom. Yeah. Because most of yes. us are either, you know, running from our job to class or yeah. here and there. So I think it's a great opportunity for us to all be in a small space just talking to right. each other. There's no escape. Right. <laughs> you can't just walk away. Yeah, I know. Above. In the best way possible. Though. Yeah. But you can go up to one of the three decks on the boat. Ooh, there yes. are three levels? We have no. three levels and we have two DJs, one. Wow. Yeah, so okay. there's one level where it's just quiet. It's quiet. I guess <laughs> if some people room. want their space, yeah. I guess yeah. if they just want to eat in silence, yeah. you know. So Who wants whatever to floats your boat, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Whatever floats your boat. Ha ha. Shut up, boo. <laughs> I should have like a small dress. Yeah, like. I know. That would be adorable. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, that all sounds. Is there any other thing that you might have forgotten to highlight? or? Oh, that's an Excellent question, Well, Debbie. the uh, attire <laughs> for the cruise is semi-formal. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. And it would be cold at night, so I would suggest bringing a jacket. So mm -hmm. if you do uh, intend to be outside on the deck, it would be cold at night. And the cruise would also be going around the Statue of Liberty. And imagine the mm -hmm. New York skyline, yeah. Statue of Liberty. So it's going to be a very, very pretty You're going to want pictures. Yeah, Just you want it, yeah. So. <laughs> Make sure your phones are charged also. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure all the plug points would be taken at <laughs> <laughs> yeah, over yeah. there. So We're trying to work on a, a few other things that are going on the cruise, and we'll release right. that information, uh, mm -hmm. one, mm -hmm. when it's confirmed, but yeah. two, to incentivize later on. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think that that's most of the stuff for the Public Health Week. Another initiative that we've got going on throughout the week, well, two shout outs. One, um, again, to our nutrition club. Uh, Nutrition Beyond Borders, they're going to be doing promos at 726, essentially, every day of the week, highlighting one of the countries that are going to be participating in the cook-off challenge, the Zero Hunger Cook-Off Challenge on Friday. So if you want to kind of know more, feel free to stop by. I think they're around the 12 mm -hmm. o'clock or 1 o'clock hour. Right. They'll be there, little treats, little baggies, little information. Um, yeah, so that's going to be happening from Monday through Friday next week and build up to the Zero Hunger Cook-Off Challenge. And then we as a council are looking for new members and we want to be cognitive of mm -hmm. transitional periods so we can make this as flawless, even right. though it's not going to be as, they you know, there's mm -hmm. going to be flaws, but um, as the, minimize the flaws as much as possible. So we're looking for people who are really wanting to be active in our NYU community who are coming back next year. Um, the, the positions that you run for are going to be president and secretary, or um, president and senator. So those are your grander NYU things, as, as well as representing our college within the college. We also represent our college within the grander NYU. Mm. Um, and so you can nominate yourself for president, um, senator, and a representative right. position. Um, and then we'll have a period all of next week during Public Health Week mm -hmm. where you can campaign and really get your name out there. Um, and then the voting will happen the week after. So there's a lot going on and we understand. <laughs> um, but if you really enjoyed going to um, these events and you think, boy, I wish I could really make that bigger and badder for next year, like we're all for it and we want you to be a part of this because um, this college experience is what you make it. So come on board. Yeah. Boat I mean, reference. like, all this is quite a lot of information. Every day is, get, is there going to be, like, an email, or is there yeah. something yes. that students can refer to to Absolutely. know, okay, this mm -hmm. is what's happening at this time and <clears throat> in this place? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, so we have two newsletters, one from <laughs> the um, Student Governing Council, which is the Public Health Connect, mm -hmm. and that's a weekly newsletter we send out on Thursdays, mm -hmm. so watch out for one tomorrow. But <laughs> we will be sending one today with additional information about the public health debate mm -hmm. and also about the elections. And we also have the public health post from the Student Affairs team, so we would be sending the schedule and we would do be sending reminders um, every day and posting reminders, sorry, of the schedule on Facebook. So. Mm -hmm. We have Facebook, we got your emails, and even if you're at 726 Broadway, we have 
we would be there around. I'm always there. <laughs> I think uh, Mackenzie and uh, Debbie know that. So mm. I'll be there to uh, remind people of the various events which are happening. So yeah, the, we, we are going all out on this. And technically, you wouldn't forget that there's Public Health <laughs> Week. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I also want to like thank the Student Affairs team mm. for um, graciously yeah. helping us with the cruise and help organizing the cruise and public health week in oh. general so it's, it's been a great like, collaboration yeah and we've always been having great collaborations and i think the next one would be study strong week so yeah. look out for that so. all righty guys thank you guys so yeah. much for being here right. i hope everyone out there you know participates in public health week there's so much to gain whether from the academic side experiential side and even just having fun with your peers and i think it's going to be an awesome week i personally can't <laughs> wait so thank you so much guys. Thank, you, thank you and don't yeah. forget to you know go to publichealth.nyu.edu to like our page you can go to the event sections to see what's going on and learn more about what's gonna what's happening within the college thank you guys so much for listening and we'll see you next time on facebook live